Welcome Leo. Okay, so we're getting a message from Spirit for you using postcards from Spirit. Okay, and we'll be looking further into that with Whispers of Healing and the Osho Zen Tarot. And then at the end, we'll address the postcard again and see how it all ties in. Okay, so let's have a look here, Leo. One postcard for Leo, please. One postcard for Leo. What will it be? Exciting, Leo. Oh, there's one that flipped over here. Okay, Leo. Dearest you, there are times in life when taking a risk is better left for another day. Other times are perfect for taking that leap, no matter how dangerous it might seem. Well, hold on to your parachute strings, for today is leap time. Realise that no matter what, we will not let you fall, drown, get lost. Or hurt yourself in any way on this one. Even if it may feel like you are in free fall, we are here for you. And you can stop freaking out about getting hurt and relax into this transition to something new. All the elements are in place and your soul is ready for a new experience. No matter what you are asking about, it's time to take the risk and do that thing that scares you. No matter what happens, you will land softly, right on target. Don't worry about the outcome. Spirit's got that covered. It's taking the leap itself. That's the point. We love your courage. Embrace it. Awesome. Okay, Leo, let's have a look into that further. I'm kind of like, it's pretty comprehensive. But um, yeah, we'll see. Because obviously there's some fear there, right? And, you know, Leo, when you're looking at fear, what does that stand for? False expectations appearing real, right? And um, I just wonder if for some of you, you're, you're afraid of failing, right? Um so, yeah, whatever it is, you know, if it's, say, a, um, well, anything really, whether it's a, a, a new business, um, a new relationship, um, and, you know, embarking on a new adventure, whatever, okay, there's this fear in you, okay, um, and we have, the first card jump out here is um, mental repetition, so, this is interesting because this tells me that there's a story that you continue to tell yourself and it becomes real for you, right? You you know, we do create our own reality. And the fact of the matter is if you are saying, oh, every time I start a new business, something goes wrong, or every time I have a relationship, it ends in disaster, it's going to if that's what you continue repeating. Okay, so be very mindful of what, what kind of garden you're wanting to grow because our thoughts do sow seeds, okay, and they do grow a garden, right? And the garden is our life, yes? So in that regard, Leo, I feel like it's very important for you be, to become mindful of what it is that you're sowing into that um garden okay so give me two cards for mental repetition for leo please two cards first card oh we've got two more here but let me start i'm going to reshuffle for that those that last one schizophrenia you are hanging hanging in the balance here leo you are um i i, I think that whatever it is because it feels like there's you know, with this message from Spirit, there's something new that has come your way. And it's sort of like there's such a hesitation. And um, there's 
a really strong sense of you feeling incredibly incredibly vulnerable okay um I'm, I'm feeling with this card here, Leo, that it's important for you to rise above this mental repetition here, okay? Because there's this need for you to be able to get a different perspective of, on things. And I feel like, um, sort of like how Spirit said, what was it? Um, something about... Where is it? Your soul is ready for a new experience. So it's kind of understanding and, and trying to see, you may not be able to see it clearly, but trying to see what that, um, that growth will be for your soul by taking this leap, okay? You know, we, we do grow from challenging ourselves and um, stepping out of our comfort zone. Yes, but I feel like this is way bigger than that, Leo. This is a lot more. This is not just about growth, personally. This is about advancement for your soul, which is the sense I'm getting from that, from spirit. That's way different, okay? We've got politics here. Um, okay, so you may, yeah, there might be something that um, goes against what you feel you should be doing. Okay, um, I'm trying to think of an example here. So it could be, Leo, that you, what's an example? Okay, so let's say, for example, it's a relationship, okay? And this is just an example. So if you're starting a new business, please apply it how it fits, okay? Um, and I don't know why relationship and business are just those two things are coming up, but, you know, it could be anything. Anyhow, um, it's sort of like you have this, it, it's sort of like in a relationship you might have a type, per se, of a person that you would normally be attracted to okay and it could be that there's someone who has come into your life that is not your usual type okay it could be that you are expected because of your family um, lines to be with a certain type of person okay and this is is stepping out of that um, jurisdiction in a sense, all right? You know, this could be going against what you're meant to be doing at work, um, obviously, legally, you know, but you, um, or even in your family, you might have a family business that you are expected to follow on with, but you want to branch off and do something else. So, you know, there's all these politics about it, but I feel like it's, and, and maybe this is where this hanging in the balance comes in for you, Leo, that you could be going over and over and over this in your mind. You know, you may have had such mental repetition about you must do this and this is what you should do. Um, and maybe it's the case that you've even convinced yourself into what you should do, right? Um, that you feel you like you can't branch off and do something differently but I feel as though it's important for you too and I honestly feel like Leo you can feel this call in your soul there's um it's sort of like a bit of a there's a, a um it's like a magnet it's drawing you in and, and as much as you try and go no 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 I'm not doing that because this is what I said I would be doing or this is what your, you know, other people's expectations are for you. Um, but there's just this pull <laughs> and you can't actually, it's like you can't control it. And I think that scares you because you want to be in control. You know, you want to know how that's going to pan out and you want to go, no, these are the steps I'm going to take and that's it. So, yeah. This is very interesting, but this just keeps, keeps it on at you. Oh, okay. Rightio, 
next card here is flow oh yes leo go with the flow and um see the waterfall here you're afraid you're afraid to go with the flow because you're scared that when you you know that as you go down that river there's going to be a waterfall somewhere because you know the river and you know there's going to be a drop but like spirit said they're not going to let anything happen to you. They're going to cushion the fall. And the fall doesn't have to be bad. This is the thing, Leo. I think <clears throat> I think you see the fall as bad, but it, it's not always bad. And I feel like this is where it's important for you to experience this. Falling can actually be good. Okay. Um yeah, I don't feel like you feel you have this support in a sense. I, I think you're scared of um of of being hurt actually. Actually, you know what? I want to go further onto this card. Sorry, Leo. I haven't quite finished here. There's definitely a transformation that is awaiting you and um, I, I feel like this is about you needing to come out of some sort of cocoon that you have put yourself in. There's been a growth um, that you've been going through and um, I feel feel like that's become your comfort zone now but you've done as much growing as you could possibly do and it's now time to step out and embark upon this new journey um i'm actually quite surprised that there hasn't been a new beginning or something like this come up but that's what i'm seeing here okay the other thing is that if you have a look at this terrain here it is beautiful okay i feel like in your world Leo you're in you know you haven't risen above to look at the the picture as a whole you're in your one spot and it looks like it could be really scary if you go off the um, beaten path um, because you don't know it and part of this is about you staying familiar with what you know okay so flow let's have a look two cards for flow for leo yes we've got a venture jump out there one more card for flow <laughs> oh, i feel like um this fear leo is partly in a child fear um i also want to say that this is about you bringing out the inner child and being really playful like they say right be playful go on this adventure that is waiting for you okay um because i think i think this exploration is is you're gonna experience something beyond what you could ever imagine okay and we have rebirth you see yes see this is this new beginning here right this is you rising up and and bringing this music out that is inside of you okay and um I think actually, especially with the lion being here, Leo, you're afraid of this inside of you. There's something inside of you that you are afraid of. And you feel like it's better to keep it buried and to store it away um, because it's safer. But the fact of the matter is it's actually like there's this music inside of you, which you let out a little bit, but you don't let out fully because you are afraid. You're afraid that it will be, it's like, it's like this lion roaring and, um, and fire coming out of its mouth. Okay, you're afraid you're going to set everything on fire and burn everything. You're afraid you're going to burn the whole blimmin' forest down if you let your roar become too um, strong. Okay, if you were to roar to the your, your best of your ability and what you are capable of, 
you're afraid that you'll burn the forest down and you're afraid that you'll be burned in the meantime. But I think it's really important to understand that when you are in your natural habitat, the raw is required. And when you're surrounded by the right people who support you in what it is that you um, that support you in your natural capabilities, your roar will be heard as music rather than being seen as something scary. Yeah, I hope that makes sense because I have no idea what that means. Anyhow, um, nurture. Oh, I love this. Look at this. Yeah, see, when the sun sets, this is the time to nurture yourself, okay? This is the time for you to go within. Um, I also feel like it's it's also okay for you to be nurtured. Um, I just wonder if some of you are actually afraid of being that vulnerable. Um, it's kind of like, there's, there's the sense of two worlds here. What's that about? What's nurture about for Leo, please? We've had consciousness flip up. Yeah, see, this is a new truth, actually. I feel like I want one more card. Yeah, I knew there was one more card to come. Oh, oh, oh my gosh, Leo. Ooh. Wow. We have consciousness. New beginning, right? New beginning, new truth. But this is from within here, right? When we're talking about this music from within, what's within that's ready to come out, okay? Really tapping into that, okay? And I'm not necessarily talking about, say, talents or gifts or anything like that. It goes deeper than that. This is the truth of who you are. And, and, and when you bring that up and out, Naturally, those gifts and help, talents will be enhanced. <sighs> this is powerful, man. This is powerful. And I feel like this is you nurturing the truth of who you are, which, Leo, is this lion. And I think you're afraid of that lion. I feel like you feel as though the lion could do more damage than harm not understanding the importance of the lion in the bigger scheme of things and not understanding that the lion with nurturing can be tamed, not held back, but tamed and settled. It's like the lion hasn't had the right environment to grow in. Man, this is so powerful. I can't even tell you this. I hope you can feel this because this is like, holy heck, a macaroni. Um, the creator. Look at this, Leo. This is, this, I feel like this is you. This is this power in you, man. Like, when you tap into this, when you tap into this consciousness, into the creator, the true you, when you become this conscious creator in your world, what you will actually bring in, when you let this lion roar in a healthy, loving environment, you bring through harmony. You are able to connect the mind and the heart to work together. They work in harmony together. Man, Leo, this is incredible. Absolutely incredible. <laughs> okay, next card for Leo, please. Wow, just wow. And, and, and I feel like, Leo, by not allowing yourself to go on this adventure and not allowing yourself to go with the flow of whatever is going on in your life right now, you are 
depriving yourself of this uh, energy which is beyond incredible okay so yeah let's have a look okay one card for leo please thank you oh, spitting everywhere barriers barriers leo we put them in our way out of protection because we feel like it will help us right and maybe once upon a time it did help you know maybe once upon a time you needed barriers, you needed walls, you needed things there to stop you um, from maybe whatever it was. I don't even know. You all know what that is, Leo. You know, um, it, it, but I feel like I'm just seeing you surrounding yourself with walls because it felt safer. And you felt like it was not only safer for you, but safer for everyone around you. But the fact of the matter is, Leo is that now, sorry, I thought I heard something out there, now um, the barriers need to be knocked down. And that feels really scary for you. Look at this card at the bottom of the deck here. Lovers. Leo, this has been consistent throughout the last three rounds. This is the third round that, you know, this has come up. So, you know, Leo, give yourself the gift of being loved, right? Let your walls down because um, right now I feel like those walls and those barriers are holding you back. They're not serving you any longer. They don't need to be there. You know, um, I think that you, it's, it's also sort of stopping you from experiencing um, this nurturing environment that is there for you Um because you're afraid because of this fear, right? Um, and I, I just feel like things are different now. Things are different. So one more card for barriers. We've got inner voice here. One more card for... Thanks. Okay. Far out, man. This is... Wow. This is... Wowzers. <sighs> okay. Sorry, I have to breathe because the energy is so powerful here. Um, inner voice here, Leo, tap into this inner voice, okay? Not the fear. That, that, that is not the inner voice, okay? The ego is going to come in and try to divert you and distract you. Say, no, 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 you don't want to do that because remember when you did and don't forget about this, this and this and all these things this, you know, mental repetition, don't forget about those things that you had, you know, that you were going to, you promised yourself that you were going to do or whatever, right? You can still achieve what it is that you want to achieve, but I feel like you will achieve it um, on a larger scale if you allow this flow to happen, okay? So listen to your inner voice. Um, I do feel like sometimes this, um, these emotions start rocking back and forth because of this mental, um, repetition that goes on in your mind and, and, and it may be a bit deceiving and it may appear like, oh no, this is my warning bells, you know, I need to listen to this, but it's actually the mental repetition that is causing that. So if you can not buy into this and come into your heart space that will calm everything and you'll be able to hear your inner voice a lot clearer okay and here we have receptivity yes this is about you receiving this messages these messages about you receiving the love receiving the nurturing that you deserve and I just wonder for some of you Leo if you've never actually had that so to receive that feels so foreign that you're like, yeah, no, nah, that doesn't, I, I, you're not familiar with it. So it feels weird and odd. And um, yeah, I kind of feel like though when you receive it, that is going to allow you to bloom more 
than what you ever could. It's also going to help you expand your vibration and um, and you'll attract more in of what it is that you're putting out there. Okay, so next card for Leo, please. Oh, wow, this is absolutely incredible, man. The power that is here is incredible. Okay, give back. Give back, yep. Okay, so this is going to allow you to give back, but it also allows you to give back to yourself. It's sort of like, actually, you know, it really is a two-way street here because um, I kind of feel like as you... This is you also nurturing this inner child. I just wonder if there's not much of that that goes on. Okay, and when you're looking at going on this adventure, this is part of this inner child's need. And um, and when you support the inner child with that adventure as the adult self, when you step into your adult self and do that, right, you are um, allowing your inner child out to play, which is crucial for your inner child's growth as well. Okay, um, and it's, it's sort of like, you want to be able to give back to um, the world to see this is the thing okay sorry just going off on a tangent here this here I feel like this is what is in here to be discovered okay if you look at this artwork here and how beautiful it is this is what is in here okay so this is in here sorry I did that wrong <laughs> all over the shop but because of the mental repetition, it feels like this is all you see about whatever situation that is going on with you, okay? But actually, this is what the end result could be if you allow it to happen, okay? So, yeah. Anyway, give back. Yep, and that will help that forest grow, right? That's going to help the, the greater good, in a sense, um so two cards for give back for leo please abundance well wow. it's going to create abundance for you leo and you will be able to give back with that you know abundance that you receive whatever that is be it um you know monetary be it um emotionally you know whatever okay so this is um, this is definitely in the cards for you, um, and you know. But it is a matter of you opening up. And honestly, I feel like that's the scariest thing for you is to open up to allow that in. But once you do, you are not even gonna know what hit you. It's gonna be like life before and life after, you know. And this is what it looks like: life before. And life after. Wow. Compromise. Stop being stubborn. Leo. It's not getting you anywhere. It's holding you back. Okay. And it's only allowing these barriers to remain in place. You don't want them there. Because they are not serving you any longer. They're not protecting you like you believe they are. Okay. Like they once did. Okay. vibration yes 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 see this is what this is just confirming just con I'm sorry I'm getting all excited here um just confirming Leo that this vibration here is going to okay okay so if you remain in what you're in and let this mental repetition to rule your life okay allow that to rule your life see this moth down here taking a downward dive that's, I feel that that's the direction you will go in, okay, if you allow all this to transpire, you will vibrate up, and you'll be able to actually transform into this butterfly rather than a moth, okay, there's so much more out there for you, Leo, so tell me more about vibration for Leo, please, two cards for Leo for vibration, one, uh, 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 uh. guilt 
doesn't necessarily have to be the emotion of guilt but there's this sort of self-imposed prison that you've got yourself in and um yep and we've got the mind here this is you breaking out of this because these are holding your vibration down okay and um and this is this is not allowing this conscious creator to come through because it's sort of like you do that you do this conscious creation and then the mind and this um these emotions come in and and it's like it, it just messes with it and so there's a, a bit of mixed mixed messages going out into the universe here okay um and this mental you know this is really along the lines of this mental repetition here so it's uh, it's really important for you i i feel leo for you to come to the conclusion and the understanding that in fact you are worthy of this because that is what i feel like is stopping you here okay that you don't believe you're worthy and subconsciously you hold yourself back and allow these barriers to not allow you to fly as high as what you can, to not allow you to roar in this natural environment, okay, with this loving support that is there waiting for you. You just have to receive it and say yes. So, yeah. So, let's have a look at this again, Leo. Dearest you, there are times in life when taking a risk is better left for another day. Other times are perfect for taking that leap, no matter how dangerous it might seem. Well, hold on to your parachute strings for today is leap time. Realize that no matter what, we will not let you fall, drown or get lost or hurt yourself in any way on this one. Even if it may feel like you are in free fall, we are here for you and you can stop freaking out about getting hurt and relax into this transition to something new. All the elements are in place and your soul is ready for a new experience. No matter what you're asking about, it's time to take the risk and do that thing that scares you. No matter what happens, you will land softly, right on target. Don't worry about the outcome. Spirit's got that covered. It's taking the leap itself. That's the point. We love your courage. and Embrace it. Awesome. Okay, Leo, I'm going to leave that with you. Go for it. Just go for it. Okay, Leo, take care of your beautiful selves. See you. Bye-bye.